I'd like to go over how to create a new rubric in Turnitin. The easiest way to start is editing an existing assignment where you can get into a rubric manager or in creating a new assignment you end up with basically this same screen. So once you've got into the assignment that you're either creating or editing, open your optional settings and then go down towards the bottom where you can where you can see you can launch rubric manager. If you have an existing rubric uh, that you've used before, you can just change it here and assign it to, to that assignment. But let's say we want to go out and create something completely different. So I launch the rubric manager, and once I've got it open, I can then do a range of things, like create an entirely new rubric, which will give you a complete blank screen, so you can just fill in from, from scratch, or you can duplicate this rubric. Quite often when you've got a rubric, you just want to sort of modify it a little bit to reflect your, your new assignment. So let's duplicate this rubric. You can see then I get highlighted here that I can change the name of the rubric. So then I can go through and change it to a new rubric um, and then just go down and click Save. I now have a new rubric which is exactly the same as the other one which I can now edit. So I can then go through and change any of the details that I wish. I can change the names of the criteria. I can change the uh, names of the scales. I can change the value that they're worth. Um, I can also add a, another scale. So I can add a new scale in here. Um, and I can add or subtract other criteria. So I can add a criterion, or then I can then take a criterion out. Once you mouse over any of the criteria or any of the boxes, you see the little trash can, uh, I can then take that one out. I'll say yes, I want to change that. Um, and when I'm done making my changes, I just click save. Um, equally, I can change any of the text. It's as simple as that. So once I've made my changes to the text, I can simply save it. It will verify if you have all of, the, all of your records up to date or not. Uh, in this case, I'm not worried about saving it permanently. So I say save it anyway, and you have your new rubric. I can then assign that rubric to any assignment that I like, or I can actually export that rubric. And you can see that that rubric has now uh, been saved into my download folder uh, and I can pick it up from there. Just one thing on the, on the export of rubrics, you cannot open them unless you're in Rubric Manager. But once I've exported it, I can then import it, or someone else can import it into, into their Rubric Manager and then use it for their assignments as well. Thank you.